Hi guys, it is Wraith from Blackwood Games, and today we are playing Elite Dangerous. I just thought I'd give us all a little bit of a tutorial in the Neutron Superhighway, and plotting using Neutron Stars. So, um, the first thing uh, to note is that um, you're going to be unable to actually uh, ride the Neutron Superhighway unless you have a fuel scoop. I always like to particularly... Um, fill up before I'm going to jump into a system with a neutron star. So the whole purpose of it is basically that you can use the neutron star to jump further than your maximum jump distance allows. Now I'm currently running around in a crate mark 2 and I believe with my um, Guardian Drive and my Max Engineered FSD I've probably got around about a 37. Now, um, the way we do this is once we've filled up is we're going to start talking about plotting around. So I'm just going to pause now, put on the brakes and we're going to go into the, um, the galaxy map here. Now another good thing is if you're doing really large jumps and trying to move long distances, there is a site um, that is a neutron plotter and you can sort of plot your course around that. Um, the neutron plotter, um, I will put the link in the description below. So first things first, um, I've got a mission over here in Wolf 152. Now if I'm going to plot a course for that, as we can see, it's going to take me four jumps to get there. but if I come down here to route settings and I elect to use jet cone boost and I recalculate that, you can see that um, it's only going to take me three jumps. So for example, if we move over here, you can see that I'm going to be moving into this system here, um, which is LHS 1734. Now the way you can tell is that all this blue line along here is the distance that we're going to use the star to neutron jump. So, now that we've replotted our course and it's going to take us less, let's head into that area right there and I will show you exactly what we should be doing. <coughs> so, here we go. Now another thing to note is when you're going hyperdrive from one system into a neutron system, you can generally tell. So. When we enter into hyperdrive, you'll see the star coming up ahead of us. And as you can see, that is a purple star with a jet cone on either side of it. So we're just going to come into this system now. Alright, now I'm going to run a quick scanner of this uh, system. But basically we can utilize this to increase our jump range. So as you can see up there, Herishep, which is the uh, next leg of our journey, if we were to try and engage hyperdrive now, we can't. So what we're going to do is we're going to go towards the neutron star, but we're going to stay out of its orbit because if we go into its orbit, we're going to burn up and we just won't be able to get through it. Now, we're going to head to one of these jet cones just outside of the orbit. I like to pause the brakes as we get closer because uh, I don't want to just fly straight through it. Now, we've entered into the boost and we're looking for the... Um, so there we go. Frame shift drive supercharged. Okay. So, we're going to just keep pushing out now. Um, we've avoided that heat. And, yeah, because the worst thing you want to do is drop into a neutron star and be taking constant heat damage. And now, as you can see, when we engage hyperdrive, there we go. We can make that massive jump. All right, well, that is basically it, guys. Um, once again, I, as I said, you can use the neutron plotter for long distances. I'll throw the link in the description. And if you felt like this video helped you, feel free to give me a like and subscribe, it really helps. And I will see you all next time. Thank you, have a good day. Bye.